Hey guys, so this, it's been like a big drama thing. UPS is like, hey, we delivered your package to your front door. And I'm like, no, you fucking didn't because it's not there and I've been home all day. So I call UPS. They start this whole big congressional investigation on what the hell's going on. I'm assuming one of my neighbors got delivered the thing. Uh, it turns out they did deliver it, but they delivered it to my garage for some reason. And then they said they delivered it to my front door. There is a fairly obvious. Anyway, so got a cue. And it's not a case, and I was not expecting that. I did not pay for a case, so they just threw it in. And that was nice of them. This, well, like every cue that I buy, uh, I try not to get, like, overly excited. But I always am probably overly excited. Uh, if this cue looks like it did in the pictures, it's, it's going to be the prettiest cue that I own. It's going to pass up. If anybody's ever looked at my prettiest cues thing, it's going to pass up my omen. And it's going to pass up my Predator 626. Um, we shall see. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going by feel. I'm not looking. Is I'm just going to try to take out um, the shafts and get them out of the way. So I wasn't expecting this thing to be in a case. Usually on these unboxings, you guys have to watch me cutting away at tape and bullshit like that. But while I'm doing this, I'm just just on my last cue, my Tascarella. Is getting shipped back to the Tascarella shop. They're going to add some weight, I hope, and they're going to fix a, a scratch that I had discovered when I got the cube. So that hasn't been actually hasn't been shipped yet. It's going to get shipped right after I make this video, I imagine. So does that be cool? Well, that could end up being a main cube. This could end up being a main cube. You know, we're just going to have to see. I, I love my Southwest. We're just going to have to see. So this, I guess like always on the YouTube stuff, the first few days of the YouTube video are not going to say what it is. It's going to say, it's a new cue, you know. Uh, and then eventually I'll go back and I'll say who made it, shit like that. So, again, it's in a case. I don't know what kind of case is it. It's just in a, it's just in a case. It's a round case. I don't see any kind of label of who made the case. But it seems like it's in pretty good shape. It's, it's one of these two style things. So now we're going to look at the cue, and it, as always, you know, here the camera gets to see it at the same second that I do. It, joint protectors are always nice, because sometimes I get stuff that doesn't have joint protectors. So then we come out, and we have some sharp points. We have some nice colors. We have. I don't know if that is uh, Spanish bull wrap or just like textured regular cow leather. Don't really care. Looks nice. The part that always makes me nervous is this part. But you can see, again, nice colors. More, 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 more. I'm going to put the case down over here. The part that always makes me nervous is is this part going to be black or is it going to be brown? It is black. The reflection of my ceiling up here makes a lot of this stuff look brown, but it's perfectly fine. Anyway, so can you guys read that? It says Cohen. This is my first ever Cohen cue, and I'm going to be honest, I never heard of Cohen cues, but when I saw this thing come up for sale, I said, man, that's really pretty. And then I, I Googled Googled the, the thing and everything the guy makes is freaking beautiful. Like right right in my wheelhouse as far as tastes go. For me, this is like a pretty perfect combination of, of old school and new school with the, the notched diamonds and then the dots and the same thing down here. I like the added color down here. I like the cue a lot and I'm very glad that it looks you know, like it did in the pictures. Um, I'm hope really, 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 really hoping I don't find any flaws or anything in it that will disappoint me. It kind of did with the Tascarella. It's got that scratch. This is a used cue, but I believe it's going to end up being in very good condition. Well, I, 
can already tell it's in very good condition. Whether it's, you know, like new condition or whatever, it's kind of hard to say. I am not seeing any issues or or feeling anything going on at all. It's all okay. Okay, if I'm going to be nitpicky, I have to clean that a little bit because there's a little bit of a darkness. I have to clean that. Oh my God, throw it in the trash. No, we're not going to throw it in the trash. We're just going to enjoy it and we're going to hope that it hits well. Yeah, the, the, the butt sleeve down here, uh, it, it could use some cleaning, absolutely. It's just got some marks and, and some things that maybe I'll take like a Mr. Uh, Mr. Clean Eraser or something to it and see if I can clean them up or just do that, see if I can clean them up. We'll see. Anybody that's watched my other unboxings know I always do a, a ceremonial first shot or, or two in this case because there's two shafts. <clears throat> I think I think this is a 3 8 by 11 pin, which would make it a little bit rare. I can't tell pins just by looking. It just, it seems like this is probably the same as the Southwest and a couple of my other cues. So it comes with two shafts. They are both clearly used. And you can kind of tell that just by you know, the transition here from finish to not finished, and it gets a little bit dirty. Just, you know, whoever had it before. Um, I don't see a lot of difference in the two cues as far as one being way dirtier than the others. That usually means, you know, one was the main cue of the previous owner and one was, you know, the backup, whatever. Uh, not the case. Um, I guess I, I would call that a fairly short feral. A good tip. I asked, damn. I asked the person what kind of tip it was. I think I was told a navigator tip, navigator soft or something. If it's got a soft tip, it's, the tip will get replaced. Because I'm, I'm not a big fan of soft tips, but you know, what do you do? So everything from visual and tactile yeah, you know, examination in my part right now is fan freaking testing, which is I'm very happy because I'm always I'm always a little bit nervous that they only took a picture of the good side of the queue, that type of deal. In this case that's not it's not the case at all. <clears throat> it looks great. So I'm gonna do my my ceremonial first shots. And again if, if, if you haven't seen any of my unboxings <coughs> They're all just about as exciting as this one, but I just have this superstition where I get a new cue. I want to make the first shot with it, and after that, I'm a, I'm able to miss just as often as I always miss. But the first shot with a new cue, I want to make. So I set myself up with something nice and easy. And make it. So that was exciting, right? <coughs> I'm having a coughing fit. Sorry about that. There is a slight chance that I may end up uh, trying to put a carbon fiber shaft on this guy. I've always shied away from the carbon fiber shafts, mainly because I don't. Be, be, I don't like the look. I don't like they're black. They just look to me weird. But maybe I've seen enough, so many of them around that I'm not as scared of them anymore. And there's a chance that this cube may end up getting a carbon fiber shaft. Or it may not. It may end up with one of these stock shafts. This one goes on a little bit tighter than the other one did. So possibly this one was used a little bit more. Hard to say.
feels good as far as weight goes and all that. I do not know what the weight of this is. Um, the Tascarella felt really light. That's one of the reasons it's going back, is to get some weight added to it if they can do it. This one feels like I wouldn't need to add any weight at all to it. Yeah, I never heard of this guy, but man, Google him. He makes some pretty stuff. Almost everything he makes is just really, really pretty. So there is that. My ceremonial first shots are out of the way. I made them. I don't have to throw the cue of the fireplace or anything. Everything's good. And that's probably going to be about it for this video. be kind of hard to see in the in the camera but there's blue and purple in these points in the veneers and and down here as well it's obviously it's easier to see here but this is actually blue and then purple and then the the whitish silverish and then purple and blue again it's hard to make out that purple over the block you know but it's there it catches the light. And the same thing is happening in the points. In the rings. In the rings, I'm not seeing the purple. I'm seeing the light colored stuff and this turquoisey material like that. I'm seeing I'm seeing that. I'm not seeing the purple. That perfectly fine, you know. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. So I'm going to stop the video. I gotta take a picture for Facebook and all that crap. <coughs> and then later on tonight I'll shoot with this. Because right now I'm actually working. Later.